In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the two-step contact form with the Fast Secure Contact Form WordPress plugin. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is create the first contact form, the step one contact form. Come up here, hit Add New Form. Scroll down, give it a name. Step one. Save. Now we have to add the fields. In the Fast Secure Contact form, they add four fields for you automatically. Name, email, subject, and message. We don't want to do anything to do with the subject or the message, so we can disable those. For some reason, you can't delete them, but disabling works just fine. So you disable, save, scroll down to the message, show detail, disable, and save. Now let's add the other fields that we want. Click Add New. I'm going to add the phone, save, add another field, street, save, and finally we want to add the zip code field, zip, save. Now for the step one form, we have to set the redirection and also the query string. So we can pass the uh, step one form values to the step two form values and pre-populate the fields so they don't have to insert duplicate entries. So on, in the advanced tab, scroll down to the redirect settings area make sure the enable redirect after the message sends checkbox is checked redirect URL it's the fault it's set to your uh, your home page we want to redirect to the step 2 page and then after that we want to make sure we have the query string passed along with the redirection. So you have to check the enable posted data to be sent as a query string on the redirect URL. This just means that we're going to pass the data that was entered in step one contact form to the step two contact form. Now the last thing we have to do is map the fields. So what you do is you do exactly like this. You say from name equals three name. Now let me explain this a little bit. In the fast secure contact form the name and the email field have special system names and they call them from name and from email. Fields that you add yourself you can just use the field name that you put in like phone or street or zip. You don't need the from underscore. Now the second part of this statement after the equals sign is two parts. One is the number which is the form number. Currently in the step one form is form number two. You can see here form two. So if we were passing information to this form we would use to name. But since we are passing information to the step two form, which when we add it will be the third contact form, we will use three. And then the field name after that. So in this case, it's three name. For email, it's three email. And now we're going to pass the phone equals three phone street equals three street and zip equals three zip and that should be it because we only have five fields on the first contact form and we don't need any more so save changes and that is the step one contact form 
finished. We can preview it. And there you go. The fast secure contact form settings default to have a CAPTCHA code, which I'm leaving in for this case. So that is the step one contact form. Now let's create the second step two contact form. Click add a new form. Give it its name. Step two. Save. Now add the fields. Just like on the first contact form, we have to disable the subject and message fields. Show detail, disable. Show detail, disable. Now save. And I'll add the other fields that we need. Phone. Now add the street. Add the address field. Now I'm just going to pause the video and add the other fields because you know how to do that and you don't need to watch me do it again. Okay, I've followed the addition, I've added the additional fields. I'll scroll down and show them to you. I've added the address, city, zip, state, number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms, why are you selling your property, how much would you take to sell today, and what repairs does the house need. So all we have to do is now save the changes, and that's pretty much it for the step two contact form. We preview the form, and there you go. Now we have to go and create the pages so we can display the contact forms on them. So let's go back to step one contact form. We need to get the short code. So let's edit the form. Scroll down on the basic settings area and you see right here they give you what is called in WordPress speak the short code which basically says the SI contact form form equals two. So we'll copy this, go to pages, add new, call it step one. And now paste the short code onto the step one page. Scroll down, remove the sidebar, and publish. Now let's preview the changes. And this is your step one contact form. Lastly, we have to create the step two page to host the step two contact form. We have to go back to the step contact forms. Go to the step two contact form so we can get the short code. Scroll down highlight the short code, copy. Now let's create another page. Pages, add new. Call it step two. Come down to the body, paste the short code, remove the sidebar, now publish. And that should be it for the step two page. Let's preview it. It's all set up and ready to go. Okay, now that we have everything complete, we can run a test. So let's expand this a little bit. And you see we're on the step one contact form. Now let's fill in the information. 
Scott Costello, email Scott at strugglinginvestor.com, 555-555-5555 Street, 123 Main Street, zip code 0000, and this content form we need to fill in the CAPTCHA, which is MWW9, and now we submit. We will be redirected to the second contact form once this finishes the process. And we have been. And as you can see, the name, email, phone, street, and zip code have all been pre-populated. So now the, the visitor can just fill out the additional information and submit the form. and. You'll have everything you need to make a proper decision. So there you have it. It's fairly easy and straightforward once you know where exactly you have to go. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thank you.